Hello everybody, I am home from Morocco and I am unpacking my bag and uh, I thought that you might want to see what I bought. Now Morocco is a place where you can choose so many fantastic things it's almost impossible to not buy everything. I had a little different strategy this time. What I did is I brought a rolly bag and I put my clothes in here, but then I brought an extra backpack that I carried later on. So this became empty and I filled it up pretty quickly to the point where I had to actually buy another bag for all the things that I got. So we did have some casualties. Unfortunately, I have some pottery that broke along the way, but I think everything else worked. So let's go ahead and just get started showing you all the beautiful things that I brought this time in Morocco. Uh, first of all, leather. Leather goods, you can get wonderful leather products there that are pretty inexpensive. This leather belt is for my dad, and I think I paid about $10 for it, um, and they have some really nice things there. I also bought myself a leather bag I'll show you in a couple minutes. Um, glasses, I bought these pretty little glasses for just juice and things like that, but they're meant for Moroccan tea. So these are for the Moroccan mint tea, uh, hand-blown glasses in this really pretty green color. They're... Uh, really typically Moroccan, so I have a set of six of those that I got. Um, I got a little mini tagine, which is really cute. You can put salt in there or other spices, uh, things like that. You wouldn't want to cook with it because it's too small. Uh, I got a couple of really pretty pieces of pottery. I showed you the things that broke. These, these had, there were four plates that went with this, but they're all broken, but that's okay. Um, these are pretty, they're nice and blue. This is a typical Moroccan style of pottery. And I bought little cups that go with it. Uh, I have blue fiesta wear that's this dark blue color, so I bought them because they all kind of match. Uh, I got a Starbucks mug with Marrakesh on it because I know some of you out there um, collect these. I think they're kind of a fun thing to collect. Uh, and then I got a few other things in here. Let's see, it's, it's just like Christmas time. There's so many different things in here. This is a caftan, which is one of the really typical things that you can buy Ooh. in Morocco. Uh, very spicy colors and such. Um, cameraman does not approve I don't think that no I do approve I love that yeah yeah I think it's really pretty um, so caftans are just really nice airy dresses for hot weather so that's gonna go with me on my vacation to Hawaii this summer um, and then we did visit a really nice pottery studio while we were there and I got something a little bit nicer these other ones were just cheap from a little shop in off of the main square in Marrakesh but this was from some place that was a little bit nicer. The children who are filming right now have not seen this yet, but I think they're gonna like it. Mm -hmm. So I like to have friends over for drinks and things like that. So I got a really beautiful platter for serving with a beautiful Islamic design. Mm. So this is one of the nicer things that I bought from um, a pottery shop called um, Naji. They do beautiful things. I take my groups there. So that's really one of my special pretty. things I brought home. Um, and then uh, I have some textiles. I bought a bed cover, so kind of a, a bedspread. And uh, when I was cutting a deal with the guy who I bought it from, he was trying to get the price up, I was trying to get the price down, and we came together on the price and he threw in some pillow covers that match the bedspread that I got. So the bedspread has the, it's just cotton and it has these stripes and then he gave me these three pillow covers to, to seal the deal, which is how you always do it. I always start off by offering 30% of the price they have started with, and then you eventually come to the middle, and about 50% is what you should pay typically when you talk to merchants in, in the markets of Morocco. I, re I really want to do that some days. Yeah, it's I, I really fun. want to bargain. It sounds like so much fun. This is another uh, caftan that I bought. It's just a black and white one, but I was wearing this everywhere in Morocco because it was really hot. And this is so comfy, just a black and white one, just kind of like pajamas, really enjoyable. Uh, also, we take people to a leather factory and in the leather factory in Morocco this time, uh, I have enormous feet and my friend Muna called ahead and had these shoes made for me, which you can do that. You can have shoes special ordered. Uh, and these are my size. So pretty red shoes. Wow. Aren't those cool? Those are really cool. Yeah. So they'll stretch over time. They're a little, a little tight now, but they'll stretch. But those are really fun slides. And then in here we've got, oh wait, there's more. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. Cool. Cool. This, by the 
only cost me two dollars this bag and this is a really good way to bring home more stuff just getting one of these big bags so this is the, the king size bedspread that i got it's uh, cotton this will be our summer bedspread because we have a, a down comforter right now um, and that's a little too hot for summertime so my bed will have this as the cover this summer Oh, there's a little treat seat for you Very guys. Very exciting, a woman's razor. Oh, this is a thing that I bought for you guys. It is Biscoff spread. <gasps> it's like cool. peanut butter, but made out of Biscoff. My friend Jim recommended that to me. So we'll be we, we do really love that. Biscoff. Very it's... interesting. All right, and then in here. I wonder what would happen if you dip the Biscoff in that. It would be like double the Biscoff. It's like putting it's like putting Ooh, evaporated milk into milk. So good because in here this oh, is, oh, is that what I think it is the thing. Yeah. We went to a, a pharmacy. It was a, a Moroccan natural pharmacy, and we bought a bit. I bought a bunch of things that are pretty cool. This here is Moroccan mint tea for Nico. He asked for Moroccan mint tea, and then I also have a present in here for Luca. Oh, that smells heavy. Which is. Moroccan paprika. <gasps> I love paprika. Oh my God. A big bag of that. Uh, and then they also have these nice little spice samplers that have um, this uh, 35 spice mix that is kind of like their all flavor seasoning. There's a Moroccan curry. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different ones. So you could buy a little pack that had a sampler. But these spices were really, really inexpensive. I got a harissa one and harissa is like a chili powder that you mix with olive oil and then you can make like a dip out of it. And this, I don't remember what this is. Go we'll find out what this is. Oh no, this is uh, coffee spices. <gasps> so it's oh my Moroccan gosh! Spiced coffee. So yes. Yeah, Moroccan spice coffee is really good. So we got, I got the spices for that. And then the same shop had a bunch of beauty products. So I got um, argan oil uh, face cream. Argan oil is really particular to Morocco, and it's really good for you. Um, I got um, some different things for my face. Uh, things that, that make your face look less puffy and all that kind of stuff. Um, I had to write everything down to remember what it is that all these things do. Uh, this is a solid solid perfume. So they gave me um, a solid perfume. Wait, what are you supposed to do with that? Uh, you just rub it on yourself. Oh, actually, no, this is something different. This is really cool. This is eucalyptus crystals. Whoa, what? Yeah. So if you're sick, you take a hot... A cup of hot water and you drop these in there you can't smell it too much right now and then it's like Vicks Vapo Rub it's really strong that's really cool and then you just smell it or you can actually drink it as well so oh, I'm surprised I got this through customs without somebody <laughs> it, it does look like crystal mask it's really suspicious and then this is the solid perfume this is a jasmine <laughs> perfume and you just rub it on your oh, no. now, now that I see it, every, all the beauty products look like drugs. They do. They all look like drugs. <laughs> oh, no. I know. All of it looks like drugs. Look oh. at the big bag of, of tea I brought back. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it really yeah, looks this, like this tea. Is, this is going to be some really nice tea, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So this is really good. And then this is really good. This is the Moroccan Cream 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 a cactus from uh, Tiki de India. What are they called? Uh, cactus fruit? I don't know what they're called that. Anyway, this is supposed to be one of the best things for your skin if you have blemishes or sunspots. So I'm going to give that a try. You want to put some solid perfume on here? Yeah. So that's all the fun things I got from the Herbarist. Uh, and then over here, something different. I just love buying all these different things this time, things I hadn't bought before. Oh, this is a little bit too much, but let's see if we can open it. Nico, go get some scissors and open that. Nico will bring that back. Uh, we'll move on over here. Prickly pear, that's it. Prickly pear, thank prickly you. Prickly pear. So this backpack actually is, is another thing that I bought while I was in Morocco. A nice spacious leather backpack that was pretty well priced. I, I bargained pretty well for it and got it down to a, what I thought was a manageable price. And then in here, oh, if I can get it out, this is a poof. Now in Morocco, that's one of the main things that people like to bring home are these poofs. Um, it's like a fabric square, like an ottoman, and you fill it up with foam or you fill it up with blankets, and then you have that as like a footrest, or in most Moroccan homes, they use these poofs more as chairs than anything else. Oh, so it's like, it's like an ottoman. Yeah. There we go. So 
this is the poof that I chose because it matches this carpet in here that I got in Morocco last year. So it's a just a square thing. We'll put a piece of foam or some blankets in it, and then that'll be an extra chair in my living room that matches the carpet that I already have. I'm sh I'm sure we're gonna use that more than the, <laughs> the more yes. than the couches. And then my favorite thing that I bought while I was gone. Ooh. These beautiful handmade copper pans, hand hammered copper. And one is a stock pot, one is a, like a saucier, um, and they have beautiful lids that go with them. Oh my god, and those these are. These were a steal because my local guy, Hadija, bargained for me, and I got both of these pots for $80. Normally, a copper pot like this would be. $400, something like that for a solid copper, well it's not solid, but for a sheet copper pot like this. So this is one of my happiest things. I don't really care that some of the pottery broke because this is okay and this was the thing I wanted to. That is, yeah. I, I've, I've been learning about the, um, about the Native Americans lately because I'm reading this book for school. And you, you can, you see that and you just get like, get transported back to like trading with the Native Americans. That, 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 that looks like something copper that like, pots? yeah, copper pots. It's like one, one of the big things that they would trade. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm returning with a thing. Thank you. This is more pottery that I got. Jeez, they put a lot of tape on all this stuff. The other thing to note is in Morocco, they don't do plastic bags anymore. So when we got bags, they're all these uh, fabric-y ones that you, can, like, that you can reuse for much different things. You're gonna like this too, if I can get it out. This is to go with that platter. I got some bowls so that if we're having friends over for like snacks, we can put these bowls out. Here you go, you can try to get these open too. Um, these I thought would be fun for uh, cheese platters. These are Ooh. made with stone. These are actual. Whoa. No, these are uh, fossils, right? That's absurd. Isn't that beautiful? So this one has this kind of fossil. Wait, wait. I, I, I need the audience to look at this. Just look at that. Wow. I think it's kind of funny that we would call something from Morocco an Ottoman. Shouldn't we call it a Berber or something? Yeah, we should. That's true. And this is this has also Nautilus shell fossils. Whoa! Ooh. Look at that! Oh, oh, it broke. Just a little bit. Huh? Okay, where's the which Look at real. And these are like coasters. Uh, they're just kind of like platters, so, so that we can put cheese on them and things like that. That is. I think I think that might want to be one of the best steals so far because that is yeah. crazy cool. And one of them survived intact. Yay! Yeah. We got one of them. Yeah, there were a lot of pottery uh, casualties on this particular trip, home. but that's okay. We can, that one we can fix. Okay, so last thing is this. Can you get that for me, Nico? Uh, what thing? This backpack. So my favorite thing that I bought for myself is this. Watch out for the glasses. This backpack. Ooh. So Fess has beautiful leather works and this backpack just called to me. I think it's really beautiful. It's unfinished, um, the leather. So uh, over time, it's gonna change color as it um, as you use it. So that's gonna be really fun. Uh, for Luca, I brought Luca some <gasps> Mocha. Moroccan coffee. Og. And then um, I also, bought something for my bed, which is in here. Uh, and this is the most expensive thing that I bought, and I'm probably the most excited about it. These are linens that oh. are from the town of Meknes, and hand, handmade linens. So beautiful cotton sheets with this incredible needlework, and this is all done by hand. Um, yeah, wait, Luna gonna, had I'm her mom go in. to a shop, an embroidery shop, and she picked out these sheets and the pillow covers for me. Uh, so this was rather a splurge. It was not inexpensive for these, but it will make the bed really super beautiful. Look There's, at that. That's one of the pillow covers. My goodness gracious me. Yeah, it's all cross-stitch. So this is probably my favorite thing that I brought back from from Morocco this time. That'll be very good to drink bright red soda on. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. 
Um, anyway, so I would say out of all these things, these sheets and the pots are probably my favorite things, but really just a truckload of treasures, as always from Morocco. Morocco is just an amazing place to go and have a good time shopping and buying beautiful things you can't really get anywhere else. So I hope you'll join me. I'm gonna to go to Morocco again next May uh, and Muna and I will be exploring again the Sahara Desert and Marrakesh and the workshops of Fez. Uh, so who knows, maybe I'll see you when I go next time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again sometime soon.